Peace and blessings and keep up the lessons. This is your brother, Crypto B-Boy. Yes, I'm here again this evening to give you a nice little quick benefit, some, you know, knowledge about how to manage your wealth after your wealth is given to you. You ready to get in? Let's get it. Are you ready? Let's get it. Yes, I'm here, man. Let's get it, y'all. Okay, so to, to, tonight, real quick, because I'm going to be going to work soon in a few minutes, and I'm trying to give you a quick rundown. This is uh, dealing with, you know, um, pretty much what things we need to know, like five things, pretty much. You need to know about when the wealth comes, when the money comes, when the XRP, you know, goes up and we get paid out with that or Bitcoin goes up and you got money invested in Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other cryptocurrencies, whether they're banking coins like XRP, XLM, Cardano, you know, HBAR and, and the likes, which are the best coins to be invested in do, dealing with all what's going on in the background with the powers that be, with the government, with the global economical forum and Great Reset and all this other stuff. It's a whole lot of stuff that I'm not going to be talking about right here, but I'm going to just, just get into what is going to be or how you should go about taking your money from my point of view, from, from Crypto B-Boy's point of view. And so just uh, listen in. I'm going to give you a quick list and rundown and talk about it real quick and finish the video. But don't forget to like this video after it's finished, if you like it, hopefully, and share it because <clears throat> you want to get it out there. want to get it to other people and other people to benefit from it. Um, also, to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so you can get into more of my videos as I'm building this channel. And, you, you know, if you want to, I always try to, you know, direct you to uh, Brother Taller show which is where the first where i actually started off with youtube at anyway and that's my other channel but that's for people who want to go there and get into uh my, my religion of islam and also uh social issues that like going on what's that was going on in the world globally in human human social issues you know what i mean <clears throat> even marriage all that type of stuff health the likes of all these things but right here in crypto b-boys channel it's basically strictly based on investment in crypto and other things that are happening into crypto in the crypto space. So I'm giving you information about wealth and wealth is what we're talking about and what we will be regularly be talking about in Crypto B-Boys channel as well as business as well. OK, so basically, here we go. So let me get it open for you. Hold on. OK, so it's five things wealth management i have a list okay and the first and i'm just going to go through it real quick i'm not going to get into anything major as far as talking about it in a big time spiel to the best of my ability i don't want to do this video too long so basically secure your money is number one secure your money and what that means is from my point of view is that you should already have your money secured on uh uh you know, a hard uh, hard disk or not hard disk, but it's called the cold drive. In other words, it, you know, they call it like that. And they have other other ways that they, how they speak about it, like a, a ledger. Um, you have the ledger from <clears throat> from the ledger company. OK, you have that. Um, they have the different types of them and they can store as much as, you know, uh, of the crypto that you may have depending on the one, the one you purchase uh they're good and then you have other you know cold drives and um you know they they're 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 as good as they as the quality that the company produces so you just got to do your research and find the best one for you that's your liking you have some that almost look like a phone a cell phone so you should have that stored on you or you if you don't if you don't get that stored on there as soon as you can and if you're going to deal with the exchanges, this is the point of, of securing your money. If you're going to deal with the exchanges, the things that are going on dealing with, you know, the, the legislations coming through eventually with the government, as well as the government offices such as the SEC and the other offices that are trying to handle 
regulation. Now, at SEC, we know about, the, you know, the, the controversy of that, with XRP and everything. You know, a lot of other YouTube content creators speak on this, and, and you know, I'm not going to regurgitate it, but you, most of you know, and if you're watching me, I'm just be simple as it goes, you know, and put it out there, hey, just be careful, do not, you know, put yourself in a position where you invest in something that could be considered a security as far as with the SEC and they coming after others as well, besides just uh, Ripple XRP. But Ripple XRP has a great edge on over them and looks like they're more in a, in a, in a position of winning this case. It's gonna, still going to be a little more run for it. And the battle is on. And may the force be with you <laughs> and myself, all of us included, who are XRP holders. And we pray that it finishes up and we can move on. And and reap the benefits of our wealth to grow with XRP price as it grows. Basically, okay, so anyway, secure your money in a proper, reputable exchange, like Coinbase Uphold in America. And you got Binance, and you got the Binance was having problems with the, the CEO. I guess he's, in a, he's being sued. I can't remember. I don't want to get into details. Don't have the time. But... Don't put yourself, your monies in areas where you feel it's going to be some pullback or they're going to take, they're going to shut them down. And Coinbase even had issues with their, they had to let go some of their workers. But that's due to all this, this, you know, recession. Because we're in a recession. Whether some people might not see it like that or whatever, but that's my opinion. But I feel from most of the examples and understanding and proofs that I have come to see uh, from financial analysts as well and so forth, that we are already in that recession. Maybe not at the major part of it. Who's to say it's going to come? But we're there, and a lot of stuff is, you know, is just really down and out right now as far as financially is concerned. Companies and all that. Some some of them are going under more and more and more. So, but as far as with Coinbase, back to the point, they kind of shake because they, they had to let go and lay off a few hundred to a thousand, I think, workers or something like that. And it's in the news. Most of the other you know, YouTube content creators that put that out out already. So basically, now the set number two, be very discreet and humble. Do not attract attention to you. You know what I mean? Don't be, oh, yo, and you go to your boys or you go to the neighborhood, you go to even some of the people that you know at your job or what have you. Uh, you're at school and college and, you know, you're around your, your, you know, your colleagues in there in school and classmates. And, they, oh, guess what? You, no, 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 no. Keep it to yourself. And the people who are very close net to you, like your mother, if you're staying still with your mother or your parents, or if you, you know, at that age, you're still in college, still living with your parents, or <clears throat> your your married person in a spouse, you know, you your spouse, you would, of course, that's somebody that knows you're going to bring money, money home as a as a husband, and you got to take care of the bills. But once they know you got wealth like that, you know, things are going to change. But you got to keep that discreetly. And it has to be between them, and they have to understand that you're going to be doing things according to plan. You're not going to be jumping, okay? So being humble and not getting it out there and exposing, you know, attracting attention, especially negative attention that people who might want to try to take what you got. Then you got to bring this thing out, and if you have one, or bats and whatever, and protect yourself and your family. No, you don't want that. So take it easy. Okay, now, also three, know how much of money that you'll need for the year. So do a budget. Understand how much money you want to, you know, spend in that year because you need to have a year at least to plan things out and to figure things out. Because when the stuff hits, you're going to, it's going to drive you crazy. You're going to probably cry if you've been struggling like myself for the many years that you've been around on this earth, you know, coming from just a working class family, not, not no upper middle class family and rich family, no. You're just coming from a regular working class family or even a poor family. You, you've been poverty stricken, whatever, and you was in the block. Now you feel that you can get off the block. You know what I mean? Or any of the things that any of you who are watching this video, whatever situation you've been in with your, within your life, everybody's life is different. And even if you are wealthy, but you got more now. Now, uh, people still going to come at you. So, you know, you, you better be careful, like I said, in the second part. But the third one you want to know what you're going to do with your money and spend it at least for a year and then spend it wisely. And that will go into the fifth one that I'm going to say. But before I do that, I would say the number four. Number four is that you transfer your money to a trusted stable coin. 
because this is a cryptocurrency, it's digital currency. They have to go transfer to, unless you have a card that's connected to the exchange and you have your money in exchange already. So now you can trans make transactions on that card. Like some, they got the uphold card, you got the Coinbase cards, or you can do it in PayPal or transfer your money to those from your exchange. But like I said, things that are going on right now, exchanges are getting unstable. And some of the other YouTube creators have mentioned, content, creator, content creators have mentioned this, as well as some of the, the, the professionals about what's going on when it comes to the money and as it goes and, you know, trying to, you know, get liquidy, make it liquid. You know what I mean? It's gonna, there's going to be some stuff going on later and we got to be very mindful and ready and prepared. We don't know what is going to happen, what's going to happen with the exchanges because of what we see. You understand? So if you don't and you have it on a, on a ledger, you have it on a, a, a cold drive, then you have to send it from there to the transfer point of a stable coin, which will be more or less on an exchange. And or it can be even eventually they may be uh, custody in with banks. They're trying to get that together. I don't know by that time when the time will come when our money will go to that level where people will be giving getting wealthy because the prices of the of their crypto rises to that level and the amount of investment that they put into that into that was compounded and grew that quick overnight, <laughs> literally like what happened with Bitcoin. Okay, so basically. Um, that's it. And, you know, make your transfers accordingly. Be mindful. Uh, do your due diligence and research before you make the transfers. Know how you, you need to know how to make the transfers. If you need, you know, help, there's, there's plenty of videos. Go to, into the videos, into YouTube and, you know, uh, put in the search engine how to transfer money, your cryptocurrency from your ledger or how to transfer your cryptocurrency from your exchange. So you can get it into your account, whether you have a bank account. Now, that's another thing. With the bank accounts, there's going to be things going on. There's going to be regulation coming in. And it's not to say to serve this different scenarios and different things that can happen. Only the people who are professional. I'm not a professional advisor or money advisor. I don't. I can't tell you how to spend your money and how I can give you give you some, some hinters of what I do and what I've been doing, in my opinion, and my ideas of it. But I'm not. I could be wrong. That's why you have to do your own due diligence and study and research on your own behind me as well. But I, I go from experience. I've learned how to do this. I've been doing this for two, two or so more years uh, coming, being a cryptocurrency holder. OK, so I, I made my transactions. I know how to transact my money and move it and do this like this. So you need to learn that in a tutorial. So do so. OK, make sure you do that. And then last but not least. Invest into other assets, and that can be it basically has to be it should be tangible assets. Not to say that cryptocurrency isn't tangible because it's there, it's tangible on the on the web, it's digital blockchain ledgers and and or smart contracts or what have you, whatever however the the you know the type of crypto what it is you know built on or what type of project network it functions on, okay. So, um, invest into gold. That's precious metal. Precious metal has always been around. As they say, gold is God's money. And I believe in that because the Creator put that in the earth. And, you know, in my faith, we know this. Silver, same thing. And these are the two main precious metals that are also used. They have a use case. They're used to make things and to be in products. So, they're going to always be valuable to some extent even if you have to sell or if you have maybe 10 ounces of your gold because they want to use it for something or whatever somebody might want to buy that from you you can get money transaction you can barter this is the system that we know from the past that was before money <laughs> but it's going to come into play eventually if there is no actual money at the time available to be able to use as they say the great reset talking about that point but that's a whole nother story in another video. Now also, uh, land, okay, investing into property. You can rent it. If you have a house, you build a house. If you don't have a if you don't have, if, if the house is already there, you buy the house, fix it up, rent it out, make some money. Make that money 
flip the money that you already gained from the crypto. You don't want to just live off crypto or your money that you transfer into it, making it money for you to live off, and you just do everything and have parties and and hang out because you're gonna you're gonna lose, 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 and the next thing you know, you're gonna be like, "Where's all my money?" And then when it really gets hard and certain things you gotta spend the money on that you didn't have to spend on before because you were spending on leisure, having fun, going here, there, but not allowing your money to pay for itself or to be able to re, you know, reconstitute itself in your life because you can't, you just can't spend it and think it's going to be there for you all the time. You have to take your money, put it into something that's going to come back to you. It's going to bring you back a return and or gains. <laughs> These are gains when we're dealing with the investment in crypt cryptocurrencies you're making. But you need something that you're going to get back from a flow, cash flow, because if it's, it's something that's being used, sold, service, or what have you. And it's business as well. So assets, your business is an asset. And like I said, also with a home, it, it, equity, that's, that's asset. If you want to buy stocks that you know these stocks are good, They're, they have stability to the point where people are going to be buying in and shares are not going to be trying to sell off or sell out. And then, then the thing just crashes as well as all the other assets of uh, stock assets do, <laughs> which ones ever actually do. Okay, just be mindful, and you have to have knowledge, and you have to seek knowledge, and find out how to do this, and which ones that you should invest in. These days, it's a little more easy. You have apps now that help you, and 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 bots, and all these types of things. But just be careful with that too. Be careful with scamming. That's another big thing. Be keep careful with people putting you into different types of opportunities and investing your money in areas. You want to invest in loop in, in lucrative, I mean um uh legitimate areas of investment. Like the IRA, they have trust, uh I trust. I want to do that, but I think it's a certain limit, so I don't have enough right at this point to do invest in that. Because I have a whole lot of responsibilities and where my money gotta go. Credit, this, that, pay who, this, pay the family, whoever. I, I'm not going to speak about what I have to do with my monies, but I have responsibilities. Know that. So you know what you have to do and budget everything. But this is wealth management. Okay. This is wealth management and we all need it. Some of the other guys, I uh, shout out to T. He kind of inspired me to do this video. Uh, T from T, T Spot, uh, Crypto Spot, I think it is. And other cryptocurrency um, um, people who put out there to tell people about um making sure you manage your wealth don't just be a person you get wealthy you're like oh my god I can, i'm rich and then you just go spend all of your money up and now you're back in the same boat again sinking no you don't want it all right people so thanks i appreciate you watching and listening i hope i benefited you and until next time i'm gonna be doing some more videos of course stay in with me stay up and may the force be with you may crypto Keep going and long live crypto. I mean, <laughs> that's for me as a Muslim. Don't, don't get scary. <laughs> All right. Peace and blessings. Keep up the lessons. Your brother, Crypto B Boy. Out. Are you ready? Let's get it. <laughs>